All right. So here we are for the final game. It's Black Ops 4, the one without a campaign. Can you fucking believe it? <laughs> I suppose, in a way, like I said earlier, they probably knew what they were doing. Uh, I don't remember any of these guys. I think this one deploys ammo. This one has a gun. This uh, chick has a cluster grenade, which I thought was good. Zero had a map hack. Um, All right, let's get this done. Oh, I can't even pick it now. Shit. I think you can That's only it, have like. Basically, this guy's playing Sorry, profit, so I don't think you can have another one. I'll be I'll be crashed because it has like ammo and stuff. Oh no, someone's already changed to it. So I think you can only have like one person as an operator at a time, which I actually like. And what you also is big difference in this game is the fact that. Um, you have to heal yourself by pressing left bumper, which was a huge change. They're gone. That name stinks. <laughs> I don't think it'd be much better on keyboard and mouse, but at least I would have felt like it was better. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So that's how you change class. Of course, I've got all the kind of default loadouts. Let's stick with this gun, actually. Do I have the grenade? No, I'm still the... Can I not pick this person? Oh, right, you got to hold it. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it now. Yeah, I think this person had a grenade, so... Only you can use it yet, though. Crash dropped. Take it. At least this actually, this one feels more boots on the ground, so there'll be none of that, like, fucking exo suit bullshit and people jumping around and shit. See, at least when they did that for Titanfall, the game was built around it, so I can actually be okay with it. But I don't think Call of Duty was ever built to kind of do that. I haven't got any grenades on this class. Oh fuck, came back. Established UAV above. I don't think the healing ever really changed the game that much. It was something you had to remember to do, though. It was, it was really odd. But at the same time, I don't... What the hell did he come from? Um, I don't think it really changed the game as much as you actually would think it did. I think people really just forgot to do it all the time, to be honest. It wasn't, it wasn't really a game-changing feature, really. Because it's just something you got used to, and it became second nature after a while, but people would still forget it actually was a thing. Yeah. Fucking hell, I don't think Avers can fucking get a shot. <laughs> and then I got shot in the back. Of course I did. Every fucking time. What was my teammate doing up there? Drop. He really should have had my back, man. I don't know how I got that, but I'll take it. Well, I'm already doing a lot better in this game. Oh fuck, that RCXD just blew me up. RCXD rolling. I always loved the RC cars. I thought, it was, I thought it was always fun to just get a kill like that. So I think the I think the like the primary like the big upgrade is like slower turbo time than this like bomb I think. Oh there we go, there's a kill. I'll take it. Hostile attack deploy beacon active. Oh, damn it. This game actually feels really fast. I think the blackout was actually really fun to be fair. I sometimes think maybe 
there were things about Blackout that was actually better than Warzone. In fact, I actually might even, like, say that outright. I think it actually might be better than Warzone, but I haven't played it since all the time. I remember really enjoying it, actually. I remember me and Tom Daddy actually having a round. We actually made a great, we had some great teamwork for a kill. It was great. Is on. Let me turn that off. I up the sensitivity here a bit. Uh, I'll get name assist off. There we go. Didn't really feel that much fast. Someone got a dog. Yeah, someone's got a dog. Is that like a kill Annihilator streak? Threat. Oh, no. Canine unit sighted. I think it's an enemy dog, so I'm not going to shoot it. Doggy. Oh. I actually completely forgot there were dogs in this game. Hostile attack deployment. How long can you hold this grenade? No, you can hold it as long as you want. Oh, fuck. Damn it. That sucked. Oh god. No, I was reloading. My bad. My bad. We're all over him. Take the win. Take it. War machine locked and loaded. <laughs> I'm still getting shot. I still got shot from behind. This rock. <laughs> Surprised you didn't see me. To the spoils. Take it. I mean, there might be one operator per like per use. I think this one's the same operator as me. So maybe not. I thought that was a thing, but probably wasn't. Not bad first game, I'll take it. Uh, I think we got nine kills. I'll take that. Nine and fourteen. Not bad. Oh, firing range at night. Um. We're only as good as our intel. It's got like a pulse, I think. Um, apparently, I was trying to look at where the dogs were, and um, it's not actually part of the kill streak, so it might actually be a weapon or a or a, or a skill of some kind that someone has. I Team that death up. match. Mercenaries, earn your cut. Oh. 
shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was double teamed again. I'm always double teamed. Is it, I, I don't know what the point was of the health bars because it doesn't really matter. You're still going to die distressingly easily in these games because that's how they work. My aim is fucking ass. <laughs> My aim is so bad, dude. Sensor that ready. Ah, so the pulse is actually the the uh, ultimate. Uh, a birdie, if you like. We've taken control. Sensor dot in there. Sensor going live. Hostile attack deploy beacon active. <laughs> of course, shove them behind again. Of course. Guns have such kick in these games, have you noticed? I mean, I'm not expecting guns to aim perfectly straight, but shit. Oh, fuck's sake. My aim is trash. I'm gonna up the sensitivity even more, dude. It's because I'm so used to higher sensitivity now. Am I slowing it down or am I speeding it up? Oh, that's a bit faster. I don't know if that will mean anything. We destroyed the attack deploy beacon. Attack on, deploy UAV on my grid. But yeah, I'm so used to faster aiming with the mouse. That's probably why I've really sucked. Maybe I need to up the sensitivity on my bot now. On the trolley. Yeah, it definitely feels better. God, I had the drop on him. I knew he was there. I'm still dead first. Oh, no. No, no. Good. I didn't kill the doggy. Hello, doggy. So I wonder what that is then, because it's not a kill streak, so. It might be just like. It might belong to a, a class. Sensor going live. Shit. Uh, let me see. Maybe, maybe the dog's part of a care package. I'm trying to find out. Oh god. Is that friendly fire just there? Or did he just kill himself? Now he's actually might be too fast, I don't know. Oh, damn it. Well, that sucked. They shot from everywhere, dude. It's fucking insane. <laughs> Hostile RCXD spotted. Oh, wow, what the heck? I oh, was an Arshika. That's fair, I didn't even see that coming.
They're still fucking fighting up there. Shove her behind. Yep, shove her behind. God, the spawns went so ass. I would stop happening. I don't fucking. I, he just disappeared off my screen. And he was running around with a sword. I forgot you could do that. Sensor going live. Instant death. He had a. Oh, he had a. He had a magnum. I don't think he fucking even aimed at. Did you see that? Like, why was this generation of Call of Duty games like a, any game where you could fucking not aim and get pristine kills anyway? You didn't have to fucking aim in this game. Oh my god, the kick on this gun is fucking insane. I changed my fucking class, dude. I hate the fucking. I hate the fucking kick on that gun. Hold down. Oh, no. Messed up. Oh, I'm gonna wait with it. Doggy. What is that? I need to figure out where that is. I need to find out who uses it and where it is. I need to find that shit. <laughs> It's a dog, so I need to find it. I'll have to see what my, my friend said in that message. Oh my god, that's the whole fucking enemy team, dude. That was like three of them. There's at least half the enemy team in that area. I got unlucky, to be fair. Firing sensor dot. Definitely suck in these games, that's for sure. No profit in defeat. Fight. Dude, come on. And then there was a fucking mine standing there. I think I might use Prophet actually. We've pulled ahead. Yeah, I might use him. Be advised. Hostile tag deploy beacon active. Cause I think he's got like the best Battery kind of things for my UAV. my uh my uh, way of playing. We've lost control. Removed Spectre. Got it. I just got a headshot. That one hurt our reputation. Oh, we lost by a point. That sucked. I think my friend was on multiverses, so it might be asking if I, if I play it. I have played it a little bit. Uh, Engineer. I think it's alright. I think the fact that it's got like a lot of characters I recognize is pretty cool. I'm not really sure about the gameplay of it though, to be honest. The gameplay feels really like slow. It's like for a game that's supposed to be influenced by Smash, it feels really slow. I don't really get how it, like, the attack ways are supposed to work. It's like getting combos, you gotta do something like extra. You need to hold forward to get an actual kind of basic combo out, which is kind of weird. I have a rifle. Profit reporting in. Stupid him, I guess. 
<coughs> now, mate had a message to say, like, a lot of people still playing it, and he was going to. I probably would. It doesn't really have anything outside the multiplayer, but... Rack time's over. It's do or die. It's funny, though, because... There was quite... There was quite a negative outcry about that. And I'm pretty sure it probably surprised Treyarch, to be honest. Because Treyarch were probably thinking, oh, you know, we'll no one control. really plays the campaign of uh, a Call of Duty game. It's all about the multiplayer. So let's just make this a multiplayer-centric game. And then all of a sudden, you just hear this outcry Seeker about mind, it. Ready to roll. And people must be thinking, like, well, hold on a minute. <laughs> For so many years, no one even cared that the campaigns exist. Then we don't make one, and then people care. I always found that really odd. People all of a sudden care about this stuff when it's actually not in the game anymore, but not when the game is actually out. When it's actually a part of the game, then pe when it's, people don't care about it. But they only do when it's not in the game anymore. It's like the classic cars in F1. There's been such an outcry about it. And I'm thinking, well... You know, you didn't support it when it was in the game, you didn't play it enough, so they didn't even bother to put it back in the game. You only care now that it's not in the game anymore. You didn't care when it was actually a part of the game and to play it enough. You didn't play it enough to warrant it being in the game anymore. People only care when it's not in the game. We're winning this. It's like, well, you know, bring back these classic cars and these classic tracks. It's like, dude, they'll put it in the game and you won't play it. You will not play, I can guarantee you no one will ever play the classic cars or tracks if they're back in the game. No one will play it. It's like F2, no one played that, no one plays F2. No one plays F2 at all. And you know how, you know why I know that for a fact? Because Enemy deleted. I play F123 and there's this kind of tire bug that's a part of it where, um, Command activated. Where uh, there's this tire bug where you know um, there's a there's a set of tires that you're never given, so you're forced to pit on either the la the penultimate lap or the first one because you run a hard tires that you ran in the sprint race, which Codemasters never or EA never addressed, and that is because no one noticed it because no one played it. Dead. I was the only one that played it in F123, but I'm the only one that noticed it because I was the only one playing it. No one else was playing that mode. So the, the bug never got addressed or fixed because no one played the mode to report it. And that's the thing. It's like people don't play these things or want these things. They don't play these things when they're in the game. So then they take them out. And it's like, oh, now now we actually want them back in the game. It's like, well, you didn't support it enough when it was actually in the game. You didn't, you didn't play on it. No one played the classic cars or the classic tracks when they were a thing in F1 2013. They took it out. And then it was like, oh, there's no classic cars anymore. Well, when it's actually on the game, fucking play with them. You know what I mean? Play with that shit and show the developers that you want them in the game. They'll keep so they'll keep putting it in the game if you play it and show there's worth to putting it in the game. But no one played it. No one plays with the classic cars. No one played them. Probably in a sense because, you know, it was really superfluous. I think the thing that probably puts people off in that regard is the fact that there's only... There's no official drivers, so it doesn't really feel that fun to do. You know, it's just like, there's no career mode with it or anything like that. So no one even uses them, but then they, they bitch and complain when they're not in the game. And it's like, well, you didn't support it when it was in the game. So I kind of understand that. Why would Codemasters and EA even bother? Because no one played it the last time they were in the game. So why would they put them in the game again? There's no point because no one will play them. They'll only play them for the release day and that's it. The only time I played with the classic cars in F1 2020 was at the beginning of the game's life cycle. That was it for those videos I did. 
that was the only time that was the only time I ever played with them after that. I was all my team and being Michael Schumacher and having Mick as my teammate. See command activated. But yeah, me and so many others didn't bother playing with them when they were there. So they took them out because there was no worth to them. And then everyone started to bitch that they weren't in the game. And they're like, well, we wanted them in the game. It's like, well, you didn't support them when they were in the game. You didn't play You didn't play them. And when Pogas and EA went back to the modes that people play, Classic Cars was like the lowest percentage of, of playing time. So why would they bother putting it in the game again? It just proves that no one wants it or plays it. They only want shit when it's not there. But then when it does come back at any point, it doesn't. It still doesn't get played, and then we go through the same thing again. Enemy down. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be bitching. I really should be paying more attention. Down. It's Call of Duty. It's like I I've reached a point with this series where I don't care at this point. So. Damned if I do, if I damned if I don't. With the, with the sensitivity. You know, because I think it's now too fast, and I can't. Still can't aim for Stop. shit. So you can mine out. They're just standing there. <laughs> oh my god, fucking deleted. die. Jesus. How many bullets was that? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh god, I used my health. I'm dead. I used my health on accident, I didn't want to do that. Hostile system intrusion has been detected. Your systems have been infected by an enemy hacker. Oh fuck. Yeah, even the radar is gonna be fucked. Oh fuck, oh, shot in the back again, dude. Oh my god. It's like a fucking bane on my existence in this game. Always shot in the fucking back. Your control systems are back online. But yeah, next time classic cars are back in the game, show your support for them by playing with them when they're actually there and make it a thing. I mean, I don't think the F1 content curators even bothered with it for the most part, because they all play my team in career modes, so they weren't. They certainly weren't playing with them at any point. I think I probably saw one video from a content curator on the classic cars in F1 2020, for example. I did. I did some, and I think other people did some, but. Really, overall, not enough people really play with them enough. So why why would Comas and EA even bother with it in the game in the in the, in the future? Enemy oh, it only downs them. Oh, okay. Who win? Another day, another dollar. But yeah, if you want stuff to continue in games, use them. Because I can guarantee, like I said, Codemasters probably looked at the gate, the, the the whole metrics from the from the 2020 game, and I can guarantee you the lowest percentage was people playing with the classic cars. No one played F2 last year because there's an ever-present glitch in the game that's never going to get addressed. It never got addressed for over a fucking year because no one played F2 to report it, and there was no point me doing it. You know, there was there was no point me reporting the, the glitch because I'm the one player that played it. They're not going to fix that, are they? Because it's worthless. It would be a worthless to fix it for one person. I'm sorry. I don't mean a bitch. I'm not paying attention. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not calling people out by saying that. I'm just saying if you like. 
Please, just either support Close. the stuff you want, the and then they'll be in the game in the future. But don't bitch when it's taken out, you know what I mean? Because you're bitching for no reason, because you did not support it when it was actually there, but now it's not in the game at all, now you want it back. But you didn't play it when it was actually there, available in your face. And it's like I said, the classic cars probably would, when were they last in? Like 2020 was it? Yeah, I think they were 2020 in last. I can guarantee you the lowest percentage of, of anything played in the game was all the classic cars. I can guarantee it. All the classic, the classic cars and the classic content stuff was the least played feature in the entire game. Guaranteed. The one, the one bad thing about the Tempest gun is that it only downs people. It doesn't kill them. Unless you've got to, you've got to shoot them again for it to kill. Confirming kill. Reactor ready to go critical. Oh, I look fucking American. I'm sure I got a hit there and it didn't count. RCXD operating. We have the advantage. Fly break down. You know, and with with things like classic car and like in F1 games in general, things like classic cars, you need to play that shit. Because in hindsight, EA and Codemasters want to do the least work possible in every fucking game. Because it's a control C, control V game. Because it's a sports game over here. So because they have that mentality, you need to play that shit to get it in the next year's game. Because they want to do the least amount of work possible. So, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I get development hard work. You, especially these days, you know, because everyone's so intent on making a graphically pleasing game, which is which is all right for me. I actually did see him, but it was out of the corner of my eye. And I couldn't get back to face it again. And it's like these games that get like... It's the same with games that get cancelled because no one's playing them. It's the same with like games that get that get shut down because the player base is literally zero and there's no point to continue in the game. But then everyone goes on Reddit or fucking Twitter and bitches about it not being there anymore. And it's like, well, you didn't support it when it was out. Or at least maybe one person did, but the rest of us didn't. Not enough people supported it to warrant it being there. More than ever these days, you need to buy that shit and you need to play it as much as possible. Seek mine online. Oh fuck, everything's just exploded. Oh, shot from behind again, dude. How are these people getting behind you so quickly? UAV Fuck knows where he was, dude. He was fucking camping at the spawn. That's great. But yeah, rather than play things like Redfall or Knockout City or any decent game like that, people buy the same shit from this every year. That's the problem. People are still too busy buying this bullshit every year. And not games that actually deserve it. And then shut down because nobody's playing it. Because everyone would rather play Call of Duty or Fortnite over and over. With I mean, Fortnite, it kind of makes sense as to why, but you know. 
We're still buying and EAFC and every fucking year. And still, and Call of Duty every fucking year. We're still buying those fucking shitty games that are really shit for just existing. That made no sense. But, you know, it's like people still buy shit like this and EAFC and F1 every year. Okay, I know I buy F1 every year, but. With F1, it's kind of like that's my sport, so I have to. But I stopped. I stopped buying FIFA. And yes, I know I probably still buy NBA as well. But that's actually a decent, fun game. F EAFC is it? It's a shit game. It's a shit game that has had almost no fucking upgrades or up, like updates or any career revamps in a decade. You know the the fact that driver career got a revamp in this in like in this age of EA sports games is quite remarkable. To be fair. I think I, th I was certainly pleasantly surprised to hear that that was actually getting somewhat updated because EA sports games have been stagnant for a fucking decade with all the same shit every damn year so the fact that that was actually getting revamped was actually a surprise to me okay Well, I got fucking, I got fucking shot by a teammate. Every time I kill or fucking look at someone, a teammate always pops them behind him to shoot me. And I can't shoot at two people at once. I'm just running around on this top floor over and over, I've just noticed. You know what these games could probably do with a leaning feature, like a, a, a feature where you go up to the wall and you lean and you peek out. I would actually work for corners like that. What game has has Call of Duty ever had that before? I can't remember to be honest. Well, I'll take that. Oh, damn it! Oh, I was outnumbered. Nothing I could do. I must have seen outnumbered so many fucking times on Warfare 3. I must have seen it so many times I got sick of it, you know. And you, you know what? I kind of get the frustration over closed games. Because it's sad. You don't. As a gamer, you don't want to see that shit. But at the end of the day, you've got to support it. We've all got to band together and support these games. But it, we don't do it enough. Nice work. You know, if we don't band together and support these games, they will close and they will... They will disappear. And in the end, we only really have ourselves to blame because we're still sitting here buying Call of Duty and fucking sports games every year. Some of which are fucking shit.